I think she was halfway insane under MK Ultra. Uh, this is also the woman that placed me in a mental hospital for about seven, eight months after MK Ultra. So this isn't about it would be something nice of her to say something like this under MK Ultra, but I see this as a sign of sickness. I think if I would see the attitudes, any you know mentality mind the health mind of these people any different than from extremely mentally sick people when in respect to the psychiatrist it would be something very wrong with me hollywood movies folks when you see this twisted movies this kind of twisted scenarios about the sick people just know that all this shit is coming out of the heads of the people that create sick people these people the psychiatrists they are sick beyond sickening sick i just want to demonstrate how sick this shit was based on my very close observation of zoran muja that's a serbian psychiatrist in ljubljana polje um i have not observed well i could say i did with tatiana proksho too because she also tried to have her scenarios going basically they're mind games what they want to do is they want uh, to develop some sort of mind games like on a four eyes with a victim very much reminded me on someone who is watching a Hollywood movies and basically see himself as someone that is talking to someone that is having like a uh, serious mental problems and is trying to develop the scenario like awake some kind of story in this individual so the two would have uh stuff basically you see on a hollywood movie is going this is pretty much how i have managed to observe in zoran muja uh, the individual is not completely mentally sane, I believe. I believe the individual is mentally sick because I believe so that um, even throughout you might not demonstrate uh, a mental sickness around your colleagues, around the people. Like uh, The truth, however, is that none of these people really have ability to question you because you are a psychiatrist. And in psychiatry, what it is, uh, one psychiatrist covers another it's a process is what it is so none of these people really have the ability uh, to go and investigate thoroughly whether this individual is uh, I'm gonna say normal at all it definitely that stuff that I have mentioned about Tatiana Proksho uh, is suggesting that these people had developed in their heads some sort of extremely sick ideas which they would use to implant in me that I would start to see shit like you see basically inside of the Hollywood movies so uh, it's not only criminal but it's also kind of adds a lot to like sick stuff uh, you can only see on the Hollywood movies maybe I have not even watched any Hollywood movies but I can imagine that this is the kind of stuff that they uh, feed people with I did read about did see here and there something maybe on a movie or something like that but did not really pay attention to uh, some movies that uh, dramas or whatever you want from Hollywood that are that pay respect to this kind of stuff but this kind of people to me it appears they do now this is a very easy stuff to do I, I, Zoran Moja is a psychiatrist and so is Tatiana Proksha these people are psychiatrists however I guarantee you that I can pass I can pass a lie detector test none of these people however can so this is basically when that world of lies is it's cut and it's something you cannot cover up police will i'm gonna invest i mean i am gonna insist i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna insist and dig and dig and dig into these things 
till I get these things done, till I, till I get a hold of the psychiatrists. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, they have options and they talked about this, how they're going to take off to Serbia, uh, other places and so on, but it's not exactly like this. This is not exactly how it works. There is an Interpol, it's international police, and they do get a hold of the people like this. Stuff I'm talking about is extremely heavy stuff. People like this present a very serious threat to societies. It wouldn't be only a threat here in Slovenia, but these people would present the same kind of threat anywhere, wherever they would go. Nobody wants to have a people like this around. Imagine you go to a psychiatrist and you actually, you're looking for help. Let's say that you find yourself in some kind of critical, I don't know, emotional life crisis, whatever. People go through a lot of stuff out there and you, you ask for assistance, support, whatever. And you find yourself inside the office, inside of the room in front of the psychopath like this. A psychopath that is watching Hollywood movies and what he wants to basically develop is story, a personal story between you and him. And will encourage you rather than what you expect from the psychiatrist basically is a crystally or psychologist is a crystally clean picture uh, or I should say uh, like you would have a disc for operating system from which you will obtain the information that is going to actually pull you out of the uh, out of the crisis out of the possible I don't know maybe possible mistakes which you have developed along the road this is what expectations of every individual should be if one he she acquires assistance uh, from such services now this here here is a real problem because instead of that you get you get somebody twisted that is undoubtedly a criminal and might actually even be himself herself mentally sick i know these people are criminals there's no doubt about that and the question also exists if these people are also mentally sick this is the stuff i will insist on i need to push forward this stuff and i need to come to the bottom of this stuff so uh, it's 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 he I don't fear psychiatry I don't fear psychiatry because I am stronger I am more knowledgeable than psychiatrists I am more experienced in the field of psychiatry than psychiatrists are so I am looking forward to face these things I also don't have anything to hide on the other hand they are fake they are hiding everything and when it comes to the knowledge well, Zoran Mujer, actually, when I was in Ljubljana, when he had me hospitalized in Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital, he frequently asked me questions when we discussed in a circle of people. He frequently would ask questions on other people, what I think about how, uh, how would I pursue the case about the people. These people kind of admit that he actually admitted he he claimed that that uh, that i am very sharp-minded and so on but so uh, to me that doesn't mean anything these people created to me uh, tremendous problems they they uh i'm gonna i'm just gonna cite dr vesna schwab psychiatrist vesna schwab you you know this kind of stuff would really really dig you very very deeply you know under mk ultra uh these people convinced me actually that it would be if i agreed to go to the mental hospital nobody wants to agree to go to the mental hospital under any kind of stuff whatever but you got to understand when you are subjected to the uh, to the mk ultra if i drop you a drugs in real time i am going to impair your uh, thinking process your rationalization and i don't even have to place you under mk ultra i can drop you certain drugs certain um whatever you want to call that elements in your drink in your food i can add to that and believe me i'm going to impair your judgment and you don't have to be under mk ultra now imagine you get yourself under mk ultra now these people are like oh, how can he say this how can he say that well what the you know, I would say something right now, that F word, 
but seriously i mean how do you rate individual under mk ultra when he already is subjected to the mk ultra i mean when it comes to the medications and these are not medications basically drugs deadly drugs that can soften your brain core judgment issue in your head to the point that uh any kind of lunacy might appear to you as appealing do you know this folks at all do you know this folks at all and i was deprived of the sleep i was they would torture they had different kind of methods different kind of abuse that they would according to certain situations they would use certain kind of methods to obtain certain types of responses i'm aware of everything that went on pretty much under mk ultra this thing went on for a long time there were numerous situations and for using different kind of scenarios to obtain different kind of responses from me and so on i'm going to talk about this in continuation okay so if you would agree to that kind of stuff and they do video recording and stuff like this that doesn't mean that this is actually realistic response from the person one thing is mk Antra. one thing is when you add the drugs one thing is this when you come when person is incapable to defend himself right and you come in his face and you give your audio frustration you promise him this you tell him blah blah whatever the way you throw the garbage in his head and another one is when this person is sober and you actually have a guts to step in front of him and repeat him perhaps what you have promised him you would do under mk ultra and stuff and so on and so forth you get it one thing is mk ultra that's a dream world in the world of the lunatics cowards uh, and then another one is the reality so never ever uh, allow if you find yourself in this kind of situation never ever allow the frustration of some lunatic uh, to become coward basically because he's not uh, he doesn't have a guts to come in your face and say what he thinks and this and that so he needs to do he needs to use this kind of services to come and stress his garbage truck his frustration in your face basically never allow any coward anybody like this to stress you know take seriously his garbage uh, you know create one basically real never ever do that kind of stuff it doesn't it doesn't happen this way it doesn't work that way chemicals that would make your brain like i think really 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 even a parenthesis soft uh there were times under mk ultra i would not even know who i am but you could tell me that a person that you could video record me there were situations like this that would video record me and based on the video you would play me video in front of me i would not recognize myself uh, i would ask them who is this guy that probably tells a lot uh, in addition to um brain implants uh that there were stuff stuff that I have used was extremely heavy type of stuff chemicals are uh, used to alter uh, mind of an individual basically totally cloud an individual's mind it's probably why i also stayed alive these people are pretty damn sure that uh at the end of the mk ultra benjamin netanyahu claimed i no longer am sane he claimed that now i am finished that now i am done that he is certain that I no longer am normal, based on MK Ultra. But things turned far from his um, forecasts. It did not come out. Other scenarios, he suggested that he bet into cases like mine because he know he knows that I'm gonna win. He suggested, he gestured, he insisted that there's some other case somewhere i think he said poland something like this uh when you are underappreciated underappreciated it's like a property basically a real estate property he would find case basically where an individual is underappreciated greatly and it seems like these people have like a private bits they have games like this go on and then what they would they would bet on cases 
and it all depends then on the outcome of those scenarios. He suggested that I am just greatly, greatly underappreciated value. And that's why that he's going to bet on me. So really what went on with his people, that's questionable. But this is something, right? If you're a psychiatrist, if you're a top psychiatrist, you're a specialist in MK Ultra, you can kind of agree with me up to 100%, not even 99 about the stuff I'm talking about. What Netanyahu alone learned from all this? Netanyahu learned from all this shit that these people are effing nuts. Uh, Jews are stereotype, always is bad, it is that, you know, ego, taking advantage, isn't that. But the stuff I'm talking about should make you really, really think, these people, this Belgrade, this Moscow, this Minsk garbage, these people are actually Slovenian traitors here, this, this neo-Nazi fascist red coater, red coated collaborators man these people make americans germans french israelis whoever was involved they make them think you know deeply thoroughly about what the hell is going on in this place why the hell this place folks we were here when upon, upon a fall of the uh, iron curtain here Upon a fall of uh, Yugoslavia, which you know it ended with aggression of Serbs on Slovenia. First, first they attacked us here with the tanks, with uh, planes. Then, uh, actually, first it started with a massacre on Kosovo. Then, because we didn't want this anymore to be part of this, uh, it, it started here. Then it went into Croatia. Then they attacked also Bosnia. Um, folks, uh, we were like a hundred years almost behind the West. Today we are about 2030 because thanks because of thanks to technology they have provided for us. Today we're 30 years behind, at least 30. Uh, back then, uh, believe me, we were 100. They, they said 50. Hell no. Uh, the only thing they, they were able to come up with here in Yugoslavia, and this was better, way better than Soviet Union. The only thing they were able to cap uh, capable to come up with uh, it was a Yugo 45 and that was actually all designed in Italy, an engine and chassis, everything. Uh, you know, with this kind of attitude, uh, really, you just don't, you don't stand a chance against the West with this type of lazy, criminal, Balkan uh, attitude that is anti-work, anti-ethics, anti-absolutely everything. From my own case, you can see what they, what they got through to me and how the hell I ended afterwards. Serbs and uh, these Balkanian politicians here, Slovenian politicians also, became extremely motivated in this case in the end. In 2006, 2005, this, they became extremely, extremely, extremely hardworking. It took them a few years to learn what MKUltra is. It took them about three years I would say then what they would use they would use the most talented of those they have teached how to use how to apply MK Ultra Americans train them uh, they would become extremely extremely motivated people not motivated in a decent work become extremely extremely motivated in a crime when it comes to crime you can't beat them they are number one the best the best you can beat that that's where our people suck that's where we all suck they take like a huge lead in respect to that stuff uh, they become convinced that i'm actually gonna be used for them to cash the money to collect the money through me uh, they become belgrade became very much convinced and they came with some dirty scenarios on how they would collect money then they would get rid of me. Uh, the important, according to Zoran Muja, was to collect the money. A poor Serbs, uh, a victims of discrimination, uh, the poor Serbs that have actually claimed that I am going to go and do a genocide against them, that uh, this is what I was accused. I was accused of attempting to 
create a genocide against the Serbs and also against Slovenians and against the Roma people, uh, against the Jews and I don't know whom else. The victims, I'm telling you, real victims, also decided that they would choose, they would decide about um, about everything along with the Russians. They, they also, that they would decide whether niece of the Netanyahu that was involved not from very beginning but from quite early stages this Anki Ultra they're gonna decide about whether she will be allowed to marry me if we would be allowed to marry and so on and so forth I think I already have pretty much explained about that kind of stuff Russian woman that would actually approve or disapprove uh, the relationship because Hmm, how can I say that? Because I don't know why. I have no idea why. That they are the one they decide. They approve or disapprove this kind of things. It's like, I don't know, if I'm a Russian or if I would be a Serb or something like this. It looks like these people already have uh, signed who exactly I was. Maybe maybe the Slovenian politicians, they, they sold me or something like that. Maybe the constitution, Slovenian constitution have changed in meanwhile, an American constitution, since I'm a US citizen too, have changed and now uh, our presidents, our politicians can actually sell us like a slaves, maybe like a, uh, like a merchandise, maybe. But I'm not aware of that, those kind of changes. I'm just not aware of it really 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 innovative I mean you cannot imagine how brilliant these people mind inside how brilliantly that works Serbian mind is brilliant this is like how can I say now Netanyahu did have talks with Vucic he did go ahead and he disclosed his plans to Putin to Vucic because it's a global politics however if I would go and disclose the stuff I am talking about, this would be a big time problem. And big boy, uh, big wolf, Serbian big wolf would go after me and would disclose about me to the world what high, what kind of a gimmick I am. That I actually have an arrangement with Netanyahu and with others. That we have things going together that this is actually all fake, that I am a gimmick. This is a big Serbian wolf promised me that. And it was another big wolf that was a police chief here. Now he's a police chief, Janis Ogulin. That was a big, big boy, big wolf. We have an agreement. And that's actually was the agreement. The agreement was between them and between the Netanyahu that he's going to bail them out of this shit. That I would have agreement with Netanyahu, however, that my Netanyahu and Serbs only dream about. There is no agreement between me and Netanyahu, and there will absolutely be no agreement between me and Serbs and Russians. There is no such thing. It's only inside of your heads. That much about me being fake, that much about the gimmicks, they suggested that they're going to reveal me in the end, I'm actually going to be like a scammer and stuff like this. Dream about Serbs. Dream about um you tortured you got freebies you got free stuff you got trillions of dollars through to me you came forward you were 100 years behind the world together with the russia i pulled you forward in return you didn't do nothing but torture me you engaged in a genocide stuff that you have done to me is unprecedented and in the end, I'm going to be dependent on you and you're going to be the one deciding about me. You're going to be conditioning me how things are going to be. And you're going to even reveal me as a fake. Because the stuff that you have done, that doesn't count. What counts is what you have to say. Of course, like I said, these are brilliant people. You should just go if you want to become a brilliant Brilliant mind, if you want to develop the brilliant mind, you should go to the center of the Balkans. That's called Belgrade. And they have a conflict with everybody around. With Romania, they hate Romania, they got a problem. They got a problem with Bulgaria, they got a problem with the Greece, they got a problem with the Hungary, they got a problem with the Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Albania. Everything around is a problem. So if you want to become a brilliant student, 
you want to gain a brilliant mind all you got to do is you go to the Belgrade and over there you're gonna catch up with the time about the logic because I think there is a huge lack of logic in these people around here Janusz Ogolin, chief of the police station here in Albom, has suggested that they're going to screw him up if they're not going to cover his ass and this and that and tra la 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 la. It's going to be a politician and it's going to be it's going to be a huge scandal if they're going to screw him. And let me give you a little bit a piece of advice, a little bit of logic because you are retarded. Like uh, like you know you wouldn't find so retarded people around you like yourself. If you can handle something, what you do is you quit. You find yourself another position. When you assume, when you actually start to cover up crime for somebody, you become indifferent from the regular criminal, and that's what you, Yanis Ogolin, have become over time. That's what you have turned yourself. Not every police officer would assume chief of the police station position. Uh, uh, in position you have positioned yourself into nobody's guilty for what you have done to yourself you did it to yourself nobody did it to you number one if i would be israeli citizen in slovenia or in the u.s yeah i would have i could have the possibility would exist i could have an agreement with benjamin netanyahu that is a possibility but because i'm a u.s citizen and the U.S. politicians, highest top U.S. politicians, have raped U.S. Constitution, human rights, international treaties, and everything that exists in respect to the domestic and foreign citizenship. And remember, I'm also a Slovenian citizen, so it doesn't matter. Also, if I, if we look the same thing from aspect from Slovenian aspect right here, uh, that, however, that's a little bit different because that only means one thing according to my logic. That means that you, American politicians, you, Slovenian politicians, have made a, an arrangement with Benjamin Netanyahu that he's going to cover your ass. You now would even pay him dirty, big ass money, probably big ass money, so he would in parenthesis bail me out of here bail me out of United States and bail me out of here for me to become Israeli citizen. You get it? You needed him to cover your ass. He didn't need you to cover his ass. Now that is a huge ass difference. You got it all upside down. That's all there is. So you ask him for the favor and guy along the road realized that you were actually effing crazy. Now he could earn some money with the idiots, with the lunatics, based on someone like me that I have managed to survive this kind of ordeal that is a possibility uh, if I would allow one to happen but because I'm not an idiot because I know that human rights are actually a solid cash it's a money that's why that's a little bit different that's a totally different story Benjamin Netanyahu blocked me from numerous opportunities employments, business opportunities, people who would come here would walk out of here with the billions, millions at least, they would get special licenses, the rights to sell certain technologies, they will become representatives for the major corporations. These people would have lives. I didn't have a dog life. I had way less than dog life. The idea was, well, if Benjamin Netanyahu somehow would not help me out with this shit. Uh, you already know what have happened in 2007 with my car and other stuff also happened, okay? So um, it's not that Benjamin Netanyahu uh, would need you. It's you. You created the genocide. I left from Slovenia before I even knew Benjamin Netanyahu. I left from here when I was age 23. You're the one, you screwed up, you are involved in firm acts of genocide and not blah, 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 blah. Like you have written on a psychiatric paper that I'm the one that is uh, trying to, I don't know, exterminate Serbian people and Slovenian people and Jewish people and Roma people and so on. You did it. You really, really did it. And I got a proofs, proofs, solid proof exists not on one occasion, but on every step of the way for the last 46 you, years, you have done nothing but basically paved the road 
for the genocide. You covered one step and another, one step of another. And you have used Benjamin Netanyahu time and again to cover up for you, to stop me, to prevent me from doing things in life and so on. So you needed him. He, does, he didn't need you. It's not about him. It's about you. Foremost, you and me. That's what's all about. That much about, nah, I'm not going to go into that. The word fake, as these people have suggested, they would, you know, depict me as I am revealed to the world. I don't see anybody more fake than Serbs. Me poor, me victim, me discriminated, oh mama, look what they done to us, they don't love us, everybody hate us, this and that. Like Vucic said, Vucic, Alexander Vucic, the Serbian president, 107 people uh, leaves Serbia every day. That's what he said. 107, 107 people. 107 people, we poor people, they don't love us. Nobody wants to invest in us. Why these things are happening? Why to us these things are happening? Maybe the first thing before he said that, I should start with the statistics here from Slovenia, where among 2 million people, about 16, 17,000 per year natives runs out of here out of 2 million people. You get it? So when you say 107 are running out of the Serbia every day, uh, that's out of 7.5 million people. Question is where those people are going, right? And the same thing, the same question that you got to ask yourself is how the hell is it possible that Slovenia owes 46, 47 billion dollars uh, and Serbia 30 billion dollars. Serbia, um, well what can I say, Serbia never produced anything, that's number one thing, that's right there in the Balkans. The average wage, I don't know how much it is, it's a, it's a joke. Um, and another thing is, Slovenia always was the engine together with the Croatia of Yugoslavia. Uh, Slovenia however owes 46 billion dollars. And I don't have to go into it because I know because of the politicians. About $40 billion went to the Serbia from Slovenia to rebuild as a reward to award the Serbian aggression on Slovenia, on Croatia, on Bosnia, on Kosovo and so on. Okay, for the reward because they were good with the tanks, with the airplanes, with machine guns because they have killed a lot of people, burn our towns. For that matter, Slovenian Chetniks, collaborators with the Chetniks, awarded them with Slovenian taxpayers' money. When you say the word fake, I love it when you say the word fake. I love it. I simply love it. I'm for it. I love to reveal to the world everything about what is fake. I don't like the fake things. I hate fake. That's why I'm a real person. I worked very hard in my life to get ahead. And in most difficult times, which you fakes have created, I have still have somehow, some way survived, persisted, and go on with it. It doesn't, it didn't matter. Pain did not matter. I went and I will go forward with it. So, I love about subject fake. Uh, it's very beautiful here, almost kind of jungle. Now, keep in mind it is rainy outside. I am a little bit late. I got to hurry up. We got about another hour, 10 minutes of light. That's all there is to it. Hopefully, I am going to do a good portion of this thing. So I pose this. So the idea was like this. Anywhere over there in the forest, don't go there. We're waiting for you. Here as I would walk, uh, they would have Russians, this would be like a Russian. They would be inside and under a Mickey Ultra, they would like a dog on the leash, handle me, have me walk through here together with them. And these idiots would come out, jump out from, look there, look there, look there, and you know, idiotic stuff like this. Uh, if I would go and listen and obey this kind of stuff, the only thing that would happen is I would become a couch potato. I would have never come out of the room again. 
I would hide myself in a basement I never would come out but this is just not the case with me it never was uh, not the logs like this smaller than that uh, or branches like this they would close certain uh, paths on the other side of the forest they did this uh, here they would put the locks across and so on uh, do not go any further because it's going to be Mossad Mossad everywhere Russians uh, well the Slovenian Borut Pahor is an idiot and everybody knows this also did some sort of uh, stupidity like giving you the idea that you can go for it that you can run that you can actually escape go run now this and that no you don't want because you you don't have a chance under MK Ultra they have you with these drugs whatever they do they, they have this interface in your head they manipulate you they do with you whatever they want to do there is nothing you can do about it. but you you still go because you think well you know uh, maybe if I run long enough maybe the drugs are gonna uh, you know body is gonna clean itself up but it doesn't work like this there's no escape there's nothing there's also this bunch of people that participate in that stuff nothing you can do you don't want to hit somebody you can't nothing you can do basically they had a big fear though uh, they wanted me to use this certain pathways certain uh, patterns because they had a big fear they claimed that on the side roads there could be people who could give me some confidential material and stuff like that so they did they and i know from own experience that when i did go for a walk in the middle of the forest uh, they would let me know they had people uh, that were involved in mk ultra who would appear and it would be like you know uh, out of nowhere these people would appear and uh, pretty much let me know that they watch me whatever i do whatever i go even inside of the forests there it's like a winyard hill uh here the same scenario applies you see this this is where they were hiding themselves inside of these bushes and then they would jump out stuff like this but now we are going into territory of Vucic hill of this territory Alexander Vucic now president Serbian Chetnik basically Vojslav Šešel Milosevic is what this guy is Milosevic number two Milosevic number two uh, wine yards I mentioned wine yards because it used to be a training center here also Kasarna Kasarn, whatever you call it, you say that in English base, military base for the Yugoslav army here in Novo Mest and a lot of these officers from Serbia uh, children, families, they established themselves with here which is a normal thing, it's, it's understandable I'm not saying, because I also not all the people are bad from Serbia that's not what I'm saying, but if one look today what's happening and I can tell you the country is no different from what used to be a neo-Nazi Germany that's exactly what Serbia is today if they could, if they only could, they would and so they would buy this Dachas this weekend's holiday homes like you would go on a weekend that's why we call that weekend so anyhow we say weekend uh, and so he had Vucic had these people and here this territory threatened me there are families I know I can point out uh, Serbs we are Serbs this and that if he says something you will disappear you will be gone this and that 
one time I show you where the, that hill, that mountain was, I think it's about 1150 meters, something like that, high, maybe less, I don't know, Gorianci, Tardino Vrch, that's a border with Croatia, they had Vucic, ah, like, it was like they're taking me over to the other side, it would be like a test, if they can do it, and then they would play like with me, I would be like a dummy, they would take with me, I would have to follow whatever they say, but that I have some kind of implants and stuff like this, and then I heard screaming and stuff like this, they had to stop and return me back to the city, but don't go anywhere close to the truck stops, truck stops is where trucks have those freezers, trailers, you know, and they throw you inside in there, there's no GPS signal, go through there, no this, no that, all kinds of hype, like hype, like this, the next thing you see, you will be in Croatia, then in Serbia. Uh, mind for the truth about the truck stops, ha, huh. uh, it was not only about the truck stops, it was also about buildings, don't go inside of the buildings and stuff like that, the truth, the truth is that on a truck stops, you have all kinds of stuff happening. You also have people, international people that go around. Uh, keep in mind, this is not only original thing here that have happened. It's also international people that can give you video, audio materials in respect to MK Ultra. That's a real truth about the truck stops, buildings and so on. The inside in paranoia. You go inside of the building, you can disappear. You're going to disappear, this and that. Well, the stuff these people, Vucic and these idiots came up with, uh, scenarios, it was a beyond idiotic. That, that would be, even Putin suggested to these people, he suggested, uh, watch out what you do because I will not be capable to cover you. If you're going to do some stupid shit to him and then he can say whatever uh, you know, you're gonna be yourself, you will be responsible uh, for what you do with him. But uh, Serbia is a Balkan, and Balkan is a Balkan. Uh, first they talked about billions, uh, it was a talk about 200 billions. 200 billion dollars, it doesn't matter how funny it was. This is what your verbal promise agreement was in respect to this case, and it's something, make no mistake about, I will hold you responsible for. There also was word about Netanyahu, beautiful Netanyahu's niece, which I like it very much. Uh, but they started to condition, and her, and this, and that, uh, to finally, uh, you know, it, it, it turned into a total crap, uh, playing with a... Uh, uh, directed energy weapons and stuff like this. This is another video I have to reserve. Basically, same thing over the forests. So I'm just going to continue. There are certain interesting location, locations I will expose to you, but that's about it. Other than that, it's pretty much what I have already explained. Uh, up there I have failed to mention they would have people hiding behind the trees and they would jump out but again uh, you know reality uh, is completely different from uh, what you might say to the person when the person is dropped up when person cannot defend himself uh, this is one thing but going in the face and actually say to the person uh, what is inside of your sick head but you just don't have a guts to that's another one okay there's a car I'm gonna turn this thing off very preoccupied me going inside of the forest do not go away from the track you have to stay on the track uh, they conditioned like sides of the forest that is gonna be the snipers that was all the time on the side of the forest they, they really hyped like 
do not stay on the side of the forest do not stay in the open because it's gonna be a sniper then we're gonna hire extra people to make the security sure this and that that's bullshit they want to make sure that nobody would come close to me they want to make sure that i stay under the cameras so they see whom is it i interact with and stuff like that this was their main preoccupations and uh this were their main preoccupations now it's where we are getting to that stuff it's going to get hot we'll explain to you donald trump gestured that at this point in time they're going to hire some extra people to make sure that nobody would come by and give me something material and so on but it's going to happen anyways this is a beautiful wine yard place here look how clean it is do you know this valley here this valley uh it was a uh, you could say a social engineer, Nathan Rust, a uh, younger kid than myself, maybe 10 years, very talented though, from Seattle, uh, whose mom, uh, actually not mom, but uh, no, I'm not going to go into that, uh, who would go with another very good friend of his, they would come to Miami, um, and uh this kid this very talented kid he would go with this john mccain was one of the first people that was involved in this case and was here in slovenia in 98 john mccain was here already and they would go and they would scan this area here and you know it's a lot of good ideas they came up with because there was drunks here there was stuff like that but never really any bad stuff these people are good people uh nobody really bothered anybody uh, but you know they did kind of design things and tell people what should be where and how should be taken care of then they did pass this knowledge from the US onto Slovenian psychiatrists colleagues and then those took over but that thing went into extreme in my opinion because I became hated because of this stuff they have done stuff this here to the people that these people deem it was my fault that this this was done to them and so on before we continue you see you see all that right there look you see all these hills all that that you see right there you see nothing else over there in the background you see nothing else than the vineyards that's all vineyards that's a castle right there how much can you see it i do not know not really much that was frequent destination their frequent destination they would go there very often but we're going to go to the other side of the river uh, on this side where i am that castle is on the other side of the river it's a very popular tourist destination known as a torchets castle that's where they will pretty much go like daily since we're talking about the cables uh something i did not pay attention to earlier uh i hope you you see what's going on here i'm pretty sure you do let me just brighten this up for you so you will understand really what's happening here that much about the video cameras and stuff like that nothing was joke folks nothing was joke about this stuff This is more or less what's going to go in the direction where I am going. You can see it. Let me see if you can see it from here. Yes, of course you can see it. You see it there. You see it there. Uh, it's going to go all the way where I'm going. And it's really, really easy to pull down cable and just uh, do the camera installation. This is exactly what they have done. 100% all right folks from the Liebeck farm that's number three here that you see uh we did go back and we continue this path right here uh when i said there are some houses and this and that this is what this area was then it was like a little forest then we came out and it was that beautiful valley i have talked about this basically was all right let's let's say number four it was let's say here uh the cables that you see are in this valley here i'm gonna call this number five if you want 
and the barn you're about to see right now well that's actually right right here like this right at the top of the number five like this this is what you're about to see right now and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue here uh, the path towards uh, Otochets recreational area castle if you like whatever you like another old barn uh, I remember this very well I was taught 100% I think two cameras not only one 100% I'm not kidding look at there and we did not make any progress this is just maybe uh, not even 50 meters that I have made so far and basically this is what you see and this is this this is this you're gonna see all along as I go all the way all the way folks hmm I uh, yeah 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 uh, it might have been sometimes in 2005 2006 they have gestured me that I'm not gonna be able to dig uh, from trenches I wouldn't be able to dig cables if I would try to prove something like this uh, now there are two things that are possible one thing number one is that they have um, just removed removed the stuff where they have pointed me out uh, the cables could be inside that's one thing and then the number two thing is that uh, they might have removed completely everything and was replaced by a newer technology or there might be also stuff that they have replaced certain cameras with the new technologies perhaps left uh, all systems on and have removed most of the systems they did talk about removing some systems they definitely talked about taking those cables out and stuff like this true or not well definitely the one that knows about that stuff is now master police who probably which probably is going to say no we don't know anything because this is what i witnessed basically in my face um but you know i'm just saying the way it was it's very important to document the way things were uh the way things happened the way it was what's going to happen next we do not know however if something positive happens in respect to like video recordings revelations that i would obtain actual proofs physical proofs of course then my witnessing right now totally matters yeah, it's gonna kind of blow your mind the stuff that went on here uh, they would not admit pretend them so stupid ah uh, my god now i was told that every time in every place like this this is what they told me they told me this i have a putin merkel netanyahu uh, yeah, george w bush basically the industry that produces this type of gadgets uh gather here oh my god uh truly for no less than eight years and you think they wouldn't they wouldn't do this for their protection that would be to think something like this would be just plain stupid uh how they do it i'm gonna tell you how they do it i was told that right there right there on the top right on the top basically is where they place the camera system and again you're talking about probably micro cameras uh, i have no clue what what exactly do they use but it's always like this that you cannot come uh, anywhere close you're not gonna reach that you're not gonna be able to just like this uh, so let's go now folks uh, regarding the individual publisher from Ljubljana this serp uh, on how he would help me like I said and then get me involved with the Belgrade now Mr. Police have a direct line with the Belgrade it was suggested to me, I will not say more, uh, that 
There are governments, uh, keep in mind, between Slovenia and Serbia, uh, there is such thing as a Croatia. And there is such thing as a Hungary there, and then have as a powerful Germany that pretty much control this telephone lines. They are present everywhere. It was suggested to me that they caught them actually communicating in respect to my case. Belgrade and Novomesto police station. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty damn sure they changed that stuff. But what I want to say is that I would not get into any kind of games like this. Uh, according to this individual, according to Pahor, publisher's wife was half half, but according to the publisher, she was a very unpleasant person, a little bit uh, a little bit separatist Slovenian who had a big mouth. That's one thing. If I would buy the bait, I would get connection to the Belgrade, to him. He is a very close friend of Bored Pahor, by the way. And that would be also beneficial for psychiatrist Vesna Schwab, who actually was the one that had performed, as I was taught, under MK Ultra. It always was for help. I'm going to go out there and we're going to do this and that. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. And what we're going to do is, they're going to use these weapons on you, direct energy weapons, that might cause you a tumor. So what we got to do is, we got to see what kind of medications uh, can be dangerous because they're going to try to do harm to you. This is where her words. The reality was completely different. She had also other scenarios in back and she wanted to place me inside of the mental hospital more than anything else. I don't care about any other scenarios. That's a BS. Now when you're in the mental hospital, right there, when you're inside of the mental hospital, there's nothing you even know is happening. They can do to you anything they want to do to you. They can throw you on operation table, they can make a scar on your brain, it's going to cause a tumor. They can cause your artificial tumor. Then they can prescribe you medications for which... By the way, this lady have received medications that were not even approved, not even by the FDA, American. Just medications like this, which have inflated tumor, and consequently she died in unbearable pain. Right here, this, what you see here, this, this is where neighbor Metoti Arman placed an go, uh, inflatable gummy boat. Don't go further, don't go further, Masat. Don't go further, be, become a couch potato and you're dead for sure. This is the, they played here with these bushes and this stuff here. That's all I wanted to say. Um, suggested me also to go and just uh, look in trenches, take the hand pick and just uh, look for the cables, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, but when I'm thinking about the locations these people have pointed me out, uh, from that aspect, I don't think that would be a good idea. Because I already have exposed this village, and I don't know how much these people would like me to go and uh, with a hand peek look for, uh, you know, you know, do the trenching, uh, search for, for these cables. It's about the same thing like with my father's drawer, you know, the drawer that he changed into a gun drawer or, you know, a bunch of other situations that could cause a real troubles to me. Possibly would end up in something that would suggest that there is nothing in there and stuff like that and would really, really screw me up. They have all kinds of scenarios like this, folks. They would be hiding inside the bushes or in a corn and making basically monkeys out of themselves. They would jump out and just believe how they're going to hype me, how they're going to make me paranoid. And I will stay 
inside of the room, hide myself inside of the basement, whatever, for the rest of my life. Now, they did some horrific scenarios. Uh, you know, the scenarios they have done inside of the house, 